Hi guys, I got Android Pie 9.0 running on my OnePlus One. To install this, you'll have to have an unlocked bootloader. Now, a lot of people will leave comments like this on some of my videos. Max, I don't need boot. These are the same people few years later down the road, when the manufacturers stop updating Android, they're the ones be like, Hey Max, I need a ROM, bro. How do I unlock the bootloader? Unlocking the bootloader and rooting is very important Especially if your phone gets old, such as this one, I think is almost five years old. But thanks to Unlock Bootloader and Root, I can go ahead and install the latest Android 9.0p running flawless. So the next time somebody asks you why you should root your phone, it is because when your manufacturers stop updating your firmware, I think the latest one on this was Android 6.0 Marshmallow, you can still keep updating it year after year. When Android 10 comes out next year, Android Q, you will still be able to update the OnePlus One. And another reason I really like the OnePlus as a company, because you don't void the warranty by unlocking the bootloader, and they actually support it. I wish Samsung, LG, and Huawei would do this too. Because otherwise, after a few years, your phone literally becomes outdated, unusable. With Android P, I was able to improve the performance, longer battery life, and it works nearly flawless. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, I've actually tested everything working out of the box. Uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, GPS, everything working, 4G LTE, calls work great. Uh, let me go ahead and turn off. I've got AT&T SIM card in there. You can see 4G. You'll get 4G for 4G LTE. NFC, Bluetooth working great. Also, battery life is excelente. You'll get very good battery life. Also, one of Android P's biggest features is that it will save you battery life. It saves you almost 30% of battery life, which is really nice. It does come with an AOSP launcher, but you can fix that by installing Android P launcher, uh, which I did. I just simply installed the APK over it. Um, you can also root it if you want. I've got it rooted. Safety net um, does not pass, unfortunately, for some reason. I'm not sure if that's the safety net of servers, but uh, it, this has been happening on all of my older phones lately. But root works fine. Also, you don't have to install root. It doesn't actually come with root. If you want root, you'll have to flash Magisk and then um, also install Magisk Manager APK after rebooting. Uh, and 2.2 tests proved to be much faster than older Androids. Let me go ahead and show you here. All right, I got 63,000 on my last N22. So if you're still on older Android, this is gonna improve your performance. It's gonna improve your battery. You know, you're gonna be able to enjoy all of the Android 8.0, sorry, Android 9.0 features, which is really nice. The new volume buttons, really nice. Real comes in handy uh, for putting on do not disturb, uh, vibrate turn off the sound. You will also get OnePlus gestures on it. I actually haven't got that to work correctly for some reason. Um, it does also have always on display, uh, which will give you notifications if you want. But if you want pure Android P 9.0 experience, OnePlus One is actually one of the best because everything works out of the box. I don't think you'll have problems with it. This is definitely going to upgrade your phone uh, and allow you to use it further. Now, I am also working on Android P running on the OnePlus 2. I'll try to have that in the next few days. And I'll have some Android P for many other phones too. Um, so yeah, this week might be a lot of flashing with Android P. Also with Android P, you do get nice screenshot features. Uh, after you take a screenshot, you can really easily edit it. All right, and also you can go ahead and draw um, easily, which is actually one of, one of my favorite features. All right, so that's nice. Um, as far as camera, camera also works flawless. Um, it does have 4K. Right, you'll be able to record in 4K, which is nice. Uh, photos work just fine. All right, there you go. So very nice option. All right, everything running real fast. You're gonna be able to get all of the latest Android P 9.0 features. Definitely recommend it, no problems whatsoever. Again, you're gonna get better performance better battery life, latest Android 9.0. There's absolutely no reason to not upgrade. And also since OnePlus has stopped upgrading their official updates, this is a great way to get the latest Android. Installation is super simple. If you're already rooted with Torp Recovery, all you have to do is install the latest Torp Recovery. You can go ahead and use Flashify app to install the latest Torp image. 
uh, without having to use a computer or you can go ahead and use fastboot basically install the rom install the g apps and reboot but i'll walk you through here also if you're coming from a completely stock one plus one um you will have to unlock the bootloader um you can go ahead and follow my universal guide which works for all the one plus i'll put the link in my description after you unlock the bootloader obviously you'll have to install twerp uh, once you install twerp then you can go ahead and straight install this rom you don't have to actually root your phone all right so unlock your bootloader install twerp and go ahead and copy the files over and install the rom all right but this tutorial i'll walk you through for those of you who've unlocked your bootloader and twerp recovery installed if you don't have those again i have full step-by-step -step tutorial you can follow uh, which is universal for all the androids and you can use on the one plus one um so let me go ahead and walk you through all right first thing you're going to do is go ahead and download the rom and the g apps you can download it straight onto your phone or you can go ahead and download it to your computer and then copy it over go ahead and download the rom and the g apps and they should be on your phone and i'll show you in my files you'll want to grab potato bacon blah blah dot zip which is the actual rom file all right and also you need to download g apps which is the bit g apps dash arm 64 also if you want the android p launcher go ahead and grab the android p launcher and also if you want root you'll need to grab the latest magisk v16.7 beta and also Magist Manager. I'll put all the links in my tutorial. Go ahead and download all of those. Once those are downloaded, you can go ahead and power off your phone. All right, guys, once your phone is powered off, we're gonna go ahead and hold down volume down and the power key. All right, volume down and power. And wait till you see the logo. You can let go of the power button, but keep holding down the volume down. And within a few seconds, you will enter Twerp Recovery. Now, if you don't see Twerp Recovery at this point, um you may have to reinstall it using fastboot if you're rooted or you can use flashify app to install torp recovery without a computer all right you should see version 3.2.3 uh any version like 3.0 and higher you should be okay uh, if you're on the older version just make sure you're not like using 2.8 or 2.9 because then you won't be able to actually install the rom now at this point if you want to make a backup of your previous rom use the backup option or if you want to make a backup of your stock firmware, you can also go ahead and backup. I do have a full tutorial guide on how to backup and restore ROM using Torp, so go ahead and check that out. All right, next we're gonna go into wipe. I'm going to advanced wipe. Now, usually we only do swipe to factory reset, but in this particular ROM, I found that you actually have to do um, basically wipe Dalvik or, or cache system data and cache. All right, just like that. All right, this will erase your apps and app settings. It's not gonna touch your internal storage. And go ahead and swipe to wipe. And once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and hit the home button. And you're gonna go to install. And you're gonna go ahead and browse to your download folder and go ahead and find the ROM file potato bacon blah blah dot zip. Confirm to flash. This will install the actual ROM, all right? Um, but once that's done, we'll also have to flash G apps, Android 9.0 G apps. And then we'll have to also flash Magisk root if you guys want root. If you don't need root, you can actually go ahead and skip that process. All right, when that's done, go ahead and hit the back button. Go ahead and choose the bit G apps and go ahead and confirm to flash. And this will give you Play Store. If you don't flash this, you will not get the Play Store. If you see the error seven, do not worry about it. Um, that's normal. Go ahead and hit the back button. Now, if you don't want root, you can go ahead and hit the home button and reboot now. If you do want root, go ahead and flash Magisk, swipe to confirm, and this will give you full Magisk root. All right, go ahead and reboot system, choose do not install, and boot time should take about two minutes. And once it's booted, you should be fully on Android 9.0p, and your phone will be renewed, revitalized, rejuvenated, and actually runs really good. And once you boot it up, you should see your home screen. All right, this ROM actually skips the welcome screen, so you should be good to go. Connect to Wi-Fi, um, go ahead and um, sign into Play Store, and you should be all good to go. Now, if you did install Magisk and you don't see Magisk Manager, um, go ahead and install Magisk Manager APK. All right, you should have downloaded that earlier, or you can go ahead and download it now. Install, open. 
and boom shakalaka. You should be fully rooted. It should say install version 16.7. Congratulations, you're fully rooted. Now, if you also want the Android P launcher because it does not come with Android P launcher, you can go back to files. Um, go ahead and install Android P launcher APK. All right, you can also go ahead and download that if you didn't download it yet. And once it's installed, hit the home button, set it to pixel launcher always, and boom shakalaka. All right, if you get three boom shakalaka, you're on fire. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't get to do the third one today. Now, one more thing. If you guys want to make your animation a little bit faster, go into system, go into about phone. Sorry, I have to hide my phone number. And go ahead and go all the way down to the build number. Go ahead and hit it a bunch of times until it says you're a developer. Hit the back button, go to advanced, go down to developer options, and you're gonna go ahead and change your animations to half, and that will save you a ton of time um, because you don't need it that fast. So I always set this to uh, 0.5x, and now your animation is gonna be much faster and more responsive. All right, and that's pretty much it, yo. And thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up for me. Um, I do have Android P also working on my OnePlus 2. So I should have that up in the next few days. Have a great day. And as always, stay whole on Android P. Click here to subscribe.